good afternoon students in our last lecture we had learned about fraction and division how fraction and divisions are related with each other okay now in today's lecture we will see fraction of a quantity means suppose one uh, suppose an object is there if we make four parts of that object then we have to express that each part is a fraction of that quantity okay each part is some uh, some fraction of that quantity for example suppose one pizza is there and if we cut that pizza into four pieces then each part is a fraction that is one fourth of that pizza okay now today we will see some example based on fraction of quantity see here here we have there are 120 parrots in the bird park total parrots are 120 if one tenth if one upon ten of the parrots are red okay tenth part of the parrots are red how many red parrots are there See here, first, the denominator is 10. So, we have to divide that 120 into 10 parts. Okay. Now, see here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Okay. Now, 1 tenth means 1 upon 10, 2 upon 10, 3 upon 10. Like that, it will be 10 upon 10. That is total 1. Okay. Now, this part is red. Why? This, uh, this part is red parrots part okay now how can we write 10 parts is how much 120 okay therefore one part will be one part will be 120 divided by 10 so it will be how much 120 divided by 12, uh, 10 it will be 12 okay now another question in that in another if another 3 upon 10 of parrots are green means 1 upon 10 parrots are red and 3 upon 10 of the parrots are green and the rest are yellow. How many yellow parrots are there? Okay. Now, see here. We will express this diagrammatically. 1 upon 10 part is red, that is red parrots. 3 upon 10 part is green parrots part and remaining are yellow parrots 1 2 3 4 5 6 means 6 upon 10 part is yellow parrots okay now we can find this one part is how much 12 one part is 12 therefore 6 part will be how much 6 parts will be 12 into 6 that is 72 means there are 72 yellow parrots okay next now see here, find the value of given examples. Now, 5 upon 4th of 16 means we have to find 5 upon 4th part of 16. How we can find 5 upon 4 into 16? Okay, so it will be 5 into 16 divided by 4. So it will be 5, 4 1s are 4, 4 4s are 16. So, 5 into 4 that is 20. Okay. Next example. 2 upon 3 of 2 third part of 2 third of 48. How we can find 2 upon 3 into 48. So, it will be 2 into 48 divided by 3. That will be 3 1s are 3. 3 16s are 48. And we get 2 into 16 that is 32. Next one. 2 upon 7 of 63, 2 7th part of 63, how we can write 2 upon 7 into 63, so it will be 2 into 63 divided by 7, that is 7 1 the 7, 7 9 the 63, so it will be 2 into 9, okay, here we can cut this one, 7 1 the 7, 7 9 the 63, so 2 into 9 that will be 18, okay. Same procedure we have to do here only. 
7 upon 100 of 700 means it will be written as 7 upon 100 multiplied by 700 so it will be 7 into 700 divided by 100 we can cancel these zeros here so we get 7 into 7 that is 49 okay i hope all of you understood the given concept of fraction of a part okay fraction of part means we have solved some example related fractions of a part thank you